Yeah, thank you. Like April mentioned at the top of the show, we are preparing for several first alert weather days this week with those temperatures expected to be 110 degrees and above. Yeah, so we broke some unfortunate records last year for the most days above 110 and unfortunately the most heat related deaths, something uh, local officials certainly want to keep from happening again. So last year there were a record 645 heat related deaths in Maricopa County. Already this year, the County Department of Public Health says two people have died from heat related illness and another 42 deaths are under investigation. So we spoke with the assistant medical director for the Maricopa County Department of Health and he says this year the county has really increased its coordination efforts to keep people cool. In fact, People in need can also dial 211, which will connect you to transportation to a cooling center. I think it's just been an unprecedented um, coordination of efforts, um, new dedicated positions, both at the county and state levels um, to really make sure that we have a response that meets the needs of the community, making sure that they're in places that people can access them, increasing signage, and then working with our partners at 211 so that people have a single place where they can call and get more information about where they can cool off. And the doctor also says it's important to have a plan ahead of time. So if your air conditioning breaks or maybe you're stuck outside for an extended period. And now, of course, is a good time to check on people in your community to make sure that they also have a way to stay cool. Valley Wise Health is also preparing for extreme heat, saying that it's bracing for another busy summer in its emergency room. So Valley Wise has been tracking data, showing an increase in patients coming in for heat related illness over the last three years. Last summer, it treated 54 people. Take a look. That's more than triple the number of patients compared to 2021. Valley Wise says it is now doubling the size of its emergency response team by increasing beds and hiring more staff to help treat more people this summer. It's also working on new treatments to help people dealing with heat stroke. When someone arrives, they're placed into our cold water uh, hypothermia kit. Um, they have ice water, cold water uh, applied to their body. We zip up the bags up until about chest height. Um, we're able to monitor vital signs, get additional temperature, and decrease their temperature fast because it's so important. Phoenix Fire has also implemented this technique when crews respond to heat related calls. The department says every station, fire truck and ambulance has a rapid cooling bag to treat patients suffering from heat stroke. And because of the excessive heat, the city of Phoenix has closed the trails on Camelback and Piestua Peak tomorrow through Friday from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. According to the city, more than 200 hikers are rescued every year off those trails. So if you do want to hike after the excessive heat cools just a little bit, there are some things to remember. Obviously, try to hike at the cooler parts of the day like early mornings or evenings. You always have to bring lots of water, dress appropriately in proper shoes, hat, sunscreen, hike with others, you know, all that good stuff. Make sure people know where you're going if you're by yourself, and please be sure to stay on the designated trails. So you can count on our First Alert weather team to keep you updated on the heat this week. And if you download our First Alert weather app, you can have the latest forecast sent right to your phone.